best thing in an orchid grower's hobby apart from getting blooms and seeing roots and growing a seedling up to blooming size and all the fun stuff that this hobby gives us is to also get new orchids and then dive straight in, repot them, fiddle with the roots, put them in fresh media and all that fun stuff that that part of the hobby gives us. Well, the question today is, can I repot this orchid? And the answer is yes, go ahead, repot, whenever, nobody's stopping you, your orchid, your time, do you have time, don't you have time, but, <laughs> famous three letter word in the orchid hobby, but, what if the right activity isn't happening and that could possibly result in you shocking your new orchid after it has been in transport and is now trying to acclimate to your environment and get over its orchid jet lag? So long time ago, long being relative in the orchid hobby, long time ago I used to get new orchids in and I was like, ew, yuck, ick, that media is coming off straight away and my orchid is going to just have to understand that it's going to acclimate and get a media refresh all at the same time while it has jet lag and then whenever it snaps out of it it's going to be like yay i'm happy to be here that couldn't be further from the truth and sometimes when it comes to specific orchids species more specifically we have to be a little bit more careful with what we're doing any orchid that is a complex hybrid bred for vigor and strength etc will probably be able to have handle the brutal handling and the stress of shipping plus immediate repot. So the answer to the question of can I repot this orchid, well, it doesn't just apply to specifically this orchid, which is Cattleya honey. It applies to everything we should be doing in the hobby. Also being patient while waiting for a new orchid to give us the signs that it's okay to go ahead. Now, here's the thing. What happens if after a while you are not getting signs, it's good to go ahead, you want to get into the pot, but you're not seeing new roots growing and you're starting to get a little bit concerned because you've got seasons to deal with. And here is your orchid taking much, much longer to give you the signs to go in and change the media. Well, once again, this wonderfully flexible orchid hobby, there are exceptions to that rule about not getting new roots to grow. And the biggest exception to that rule is the season that you are in. Are you in the growing season? Because at some point in time, the orchid will respond and start growing even if whatever growth it produces will be smaller more reduced and may not bloom but grow it will you see we can get orchids in september and extend our growing season with artificial lights and heat mats and all that fun stuff and control the temperature so that our orchids will respond and react even in the winter time and then new roots grow and we can go in and change the media and refresh everything at the right time according to the pace and the growth of the orchid but if you don't have all that you may need to wait until the next grow season comes around because if you're not supplementing with all the kit and caboodle and in a controlled environment then your orchid is going to grow according to your seasons and according to how much light is provided by it and especially temperature if you're growing in any of the hemispheres that do not have a 12 hour regular daylight then consider yourself you are growing in a seasonal kind of environment now new orchid as you can see and here is another new orchid Dendrobium Patricia van Puyenbroek. I got this orchid in September of 2021 and she is still in her original nursery container. I have not moved this orchid even while she was growing growth during the winter. And the reason being that I do not supplement with heat mats. My temperatures drop according to what the interior temperature is. There is no supplemental heat. And very, very rarely can I now put on my artificial lights. So I did not repot this orchid. But you can see as the growing season started up again, having arrived again in September, we are now in July. We are getting new growth. And you see signs of root extension. And now I can cut the pot, clean the orchid up and let her grow. Here's another thing I want to make mention as well. If you see branching roots, 
and you know that you will be destroying them when it comes to cleaning up the media i am telling you 80 percent of the time old roots that branch those branching tips will get damaged do not be hard on yourself it is the nature of the hobby it happens we will be as diligent as possible of course but you know we don't like to ruin these gorgeous root tips but if you have new growths coming then at least you know that the root system is in active growth and that means backup is not far away so you don't want to leave this too long anymore you know you've got active root growth you're in the warm season in the growing season this is now the time to go in and you will not be setting your orchid back if i had repotted this orchid in september straight away within a week of her arrival we would not be here today with an orchid that still looks great and is not set back this orchid would have had a hard time throughout the winter to stay healthy so what about this one our first candidate that we showed up you see here is an example right we've got new growths coming and what you see now is also new roots I'm a little bit late in filming this video, but what I wanted to point out is, if you see your pot like this, this orchid having arrived in May, it's almost two months later that I am now addressing this orchid, even if I were not to see any new roots growing because it is the growing season. Now, we have root tips starting in the pot. Again, just like with the dendrobium we just saw, these root tips are probably highly likely going to get damaged and we don't see let's say anything coming from the base but the new growths are indicators that a new root system will start from there even if we damage root tips that are happening in the pot so if i had been able to film this let's say 10 days ago we wouldn't have seen this and that should have been the time I should have gotten into the pot. Could have, would have, should have. It didn't happen. But now we, are, of course, are going to be faced with damaging the root system. I can go in at this point in time, this time of year, with these orchids because the temperatures allow me to do so. And new root growth will happen, C or C, because of where the new growths are at. In their growing phase, so the answer to the question, can I repot this orchid? These orchids or any orchid in your collection that you're suspicious about and your growing season is extending and you still haven't addressed a pot is when the temperature is right, everything is warm enough and the growths have reached a certain size. If you see roots branching, you may do damage. If you don't see roots at the base of any new growth, don't worry about it. The fact that the orchid is showing signs of active root growth on the existing root system, or in this case, coming out of the bottom of your pot, even though you don't see new roots on the growth that's coming in, you can go in. Paramount for any success in this instance is temperature. And that means all of you who are blessed that can grow in controlled environments where your day lengths also match your temperatures, then you can go in and repot at any point. We need to have temperature and plenty of light so that they can do what they're already showing us is happening in the pot and give us a new root system, even if that new root system hasn't started yet. The cleanup and everything of these orchids will be in a video that I will link in the description. When I get to the repotting, I will make that video separate. Otherwise, this is going to get too long and not everybody is interested in seeing another repot video. But this information would have been tucked away in that repot video so if this answers your question then i am very very glad that i'm making separate videos just so that those interested in the answer to the question can see what it's about and not have to sit through a video where i talk about the same thing tucked away somewhere between fiddling around with bark and removing it from roots this is going to be a fiddly one for both candidates but i'm happy to be able to get into them even if i will do considerable damage thank you very much for watching let me know if anything else comes to mind that you would like to address and ask about or leave a comment i look forward to hearing from you all the time anytime 
Have yourselves a beautiful day. On one condition though, that you stay safe, please. Take care. Bye.